Today I wanted to do a quick demonstration on potentiometers. A potentiometer uh, can be used as a variable resistor or a voltage divider. Uh, most commonly you probably use a potentiometer as a volume knob whether you play guitar or use a radio. Um, first off let's start off with a variable resistor. Uh, that's only going to require the use of two of the pins on the uh, potentiometer. Basically a potentiometer has a outer pin on each side and it's got the middle pin. The middle pin is the wiper. The wiper actually moves across a resistive band from one outer pin to the other whenever you turn the knob. So uh, first off we're going to use this right here as our power input uh, the outer pin there and then we're going to use the wiper pin as our output now we have power to our LED because I have the knob turned all the way towards me I have no resistance or theoretically no resistance between the wiper and this outer pin as I turn the knob back this way the wiper gets further away from that third pin uh, on the resistive band and the further down the line on the resistive band it goes the more resistance it has the more resistance it has the less signal comes through so I've dimmed my potential or my LED by using the potentiometer uh, this is just a 20k potentiometer so it's not enough to turn the LED all the way off so uh, when I turn back this way you see it brightens back up now that is how you wire up a variable resistor. You just use two uh, of the of the pins. You use the wiper and the outer pin. Uh, if I wanted to turn the knob the other way, I could uh, unplug this and put that there, and then it would get brighter when I turn it this way instead of towards me. But uh, generally, whenever you turn something up, uh, you turn it to the right, and generally, whenever you or uh, whether it's uh, giving uh, power to an LED or uh, adjusting an effect on a circuit. Generally, it's whenever you have less resistance that you have more of whatever you're trying to achieve. Sometimes that's sometimes it's different. But uh, so uh, I, I usually wire mine up this way, where the where the it, we're using the outer pin on this side and the middle pin, the wiper, and that's how I use my variable resistor. Now. A uh, very easy step into turning this into a voltage divider. A voltage divider uh, is how you have your potentiometer wired up uh, if you're as far as uh, using it as a volume knob, uh, like on your guitar, for instance. Uh, all we have to do is add this ground here. Put this green wire to ground. Now, uh, this is just exactly how a guitar volume knob is wired up. You have your input signal right here, you have your output signal right here, and you have your ground. Now, whenever I turn my knob this way, uh, you know, it's going to be applying more resistance, as we talked about. But not only is it doing that, it's also sending the signal to ground. Uh, so when I do it like this, it's actually uh, going to turn the LED all the way off. Um, I don't know if you can tell, uh, my flash is on on my camera, so I don't know if you can tell that the LED is, in fact, all the way off right now. Um, now you'll notice when I unplug this ground, it comes on. It's it's not bright all the way, but it's still dim because, as I said before, 20K is not enough to completely shut off the uh, LED. But when I put this ground in, that uh, kills the LED because it's... Uh, it, the signal is now not just going to an open pin over here, it's going to the ground. So uh, besides having the resistance between the wiper and this outer pin, it also is sending the signal to ground, which is causing the LED to not get any any power to it. So uh, next uh, thing I'm going to do here, one last thing that we can do with this, uh, that's why I've got this other LED set up here. I'm going to leave this green one plugged in here. But now I'm going to switch. Instead of having my out, uh, input going to this outer pin here, I'm going to use my power input, and I'm going to go right into the wiper pin. And 
here we're also using this as a voltage divider. Um, we're going to run this red wire on this outer pin to the red LED. Then we're going to run the green wire on this outer pin to the green LED. Now what I've got here is I'm dividing the voltage between the red LED and the green LED. It's very similar to like I was doing with uh, like you would do with the volume knob when I had it set up. It's just instead of sending the signal to ground here, you're actually sending the signal to another LED. Uh, so uh, still, I guess you'd still consider it a voltage divider, um, voltage divider, variable resistor, pretty much same thing, potentiometer. Anyways, it's an easy concept to learn, and and if you're a if you're a guitar player or uh, any play any instrument that has a volume knob on it, uh, it might be a good idea to you know understand how to how to replace that or fix it if it ever stops working. That is one thing about potentiometers; they are actually a mechanical uh, piece of electronic hardware. Uh, you know that pin, uh, that wiper uh, moves across the resistive band, so eventually. It will wear out and it will make scratchy noises uh, if you have the instrument long enough and you turn that knob enough times. Uh, so you may one day have to replace one. Also, you know, circuitry is fun. If you you know if you are interested in getting into this kind of thing, I'm gonna try to post more videos. I'm not an electrician by any means. I'm just a hobbyist. Uh, but you know, I, I've built a few things. Uh, I always start out on my breadboard. Uh, it's a surefire way to make sure that something works before you put in all the effort of soldering it up. And if you don't have a breadboard and you want to mess around with stuff like this, all this stuff is really cheap. I mean, you can get resistors uh, by the hundreds for just a few dollars. You can get, you know, this breadboard for, you know, six to ten bucks. You know, comes with the jumper wires. Uh, you know, I, I buy cheap one dollar batteries from the dollar store just because that's all I really need for what I'm doing here at the house here. I'm you know, uh, it's a fun hobby to get into. Uh, next time, maybe we'll get into uh, possibly building this little LM386 amplifier. It's a pretty easy circuit. It's all based on the LM386 op amp, and it just requires a 10R resistor, a 0.1 UF uh, capacitor, and a 1000 UF capacitor, and of course a speaker, and input, input output jacks, of course, and a power supply. Uh, but maybe next time we'll work on that.